Good day! Here are the stories for the Manila Times for Friday, October 15, 2021. If elected President Senator Panfilo Ping Lacson will consider putting an end to lockdowns, which he said were ineffective in slowing down COVID-19 transmission, Lacson, who is seeking the presidency in next year's elections with Senate President Vicente Soto III as his running mate, also deplored the government's apparent preference for a particular brand of vaccine against COVID-19, which he said has efficacy problems. During a media forum on Thursday, he said despite implementing the world's longest lockdown, the country has not prevented the spread of COVID-19, much less helped it recover economically. Times Chairman Emeritus Dr. Dante Arevalo Ang recently caught up with former President Joseph Estrada at the latter's Green Hills home and discussed their lunch together. Read Dr. Ang's full story on the Times print, digital, and online editions. Former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. will be a runaway winner in the 2022 presidential race based on the series of Calle or Street Survey conducted by different vloggers. Marcos is running for president under the Partido Federal ng Pilipinas banner. The Calle survey, conducted from October 1 to 11, showed Marcos is the preferred choice over six other candidates with over 60% of respondents saying they will vote for him. Also in the list were Vice President Maria Leonor Leni Robredo, Senators Emmanuel Pacquiao, Panfilo Lacson, Ronald De La Rosa, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio, and Manila Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso. Senator Panfilo Ping Lacson slammed the alleged huge off-budget income of some government hospitals which they do not fully use. Lacson raised the issue on Wednesday during his interpolation of the Department of Health's proposed budget for 2022. He reiterated his concern during a media forum on Thursday saying that state hospitals such as the National Kidney Transplant Institute and the Philippine Heart Center of the Philippines have hidden or reserved funds which were not being used. The ruling Partido Democratico Pilipino Lakas ng Bayan or PDP Laban on Thursday said there was nothing wrong with political parties availing the period for substitution of their standard bearers in the 2022 national elections. Melvin Matibag, Secretary General of the PDP Laban faction led by Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi, made the statement as he rejected claims that the substitution option for candidates is a mockery of the electoral process. He brushed aside speculations that the ruling party's presidential candidate, Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, is merely a placeholder for Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio, who has already rejected running for the country's top post. He stressed that de la Rosa is not a last-minute candidate as he is on the short list of possible presidential candidates of the ruling party since it began the internal selection process. Topping business, economic growth will still hit the government's downwardly adjusted 2021 target despite an expected third quarter slowdown, a cabinet official said on Thursday. When asked about the possibility of meeting this year's 4-5% gross domestic product growth target, Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez III said his department will be sticking to that growth target and expects that they will reach it. In sports, Agatha Wong, a three-time Southeast Asian Games gold medalist in Wushu, is trying to do her best to stay in shape for next year's international meets. Wong is looking forward to competing in a physical platform for the first time since the 2019 Southeast Asian Games next year at the SEA Games in Hanoi, Vietnam and the Asian Games in Hangzhou, China. Rigoberto Tiglao and Ruben Torres are today's front-page columnists. Tiglao continues his tirade over Maria Ressa's Nobel Peace Prize, while Torres discusses the no-vaccination, no-work policy of the government. Today's editorial believes a shift to clean energy needs a shove and not just a push. Read the full version in the paper's opinion section or listen to the voice of the Times. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to its digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and keep up with the Times. On behalf of the Manila Times, this is Arik John C. Kuo reporting. Have a safe Friday ahead.